In this lesson, we will talk about how to configure VRRP in Packet Tracer. VRRP is an open source network redundancy protocol. And for this configuration, we will use the topology on the screen and as you can see, the IP addresses has already configured. Before the configuration, let's see the difference between VRRP and HSRP. HSRP is a Cisco proprietary protocol. It is Cisco specific, but VRRP is a standard. All the vendors use VRRP. HSRP has one active and one standby in one group. VRRP has one master and more backups. HSRP uses only virtual IP addresses, but VRRP can use physical addresses as virtual IP addresses. The preemption uh, in HSRP must be manually enabled, but uh, this is uh, enabled by default in VRRP. And uh, HSRP allows uh, 3 seconds and hold down the uh, timer is 10 seconds. And uh, this is uh, 1 and uh, 3 in VRRP. And lastly, HSRP market, market addresses uh, are uh, 224.002 for version 1 and 224.00102 uh, for version 2. And it uses a UDP. Uh, 1985 uh, port and uh, VRRP uses uh, 222 uh, 0018 uh, IP address as multicast address and it uses IP uh, and uh, 1112 uh, port address. In Packet Tracer, we can configure HSRP but uh, it's not allowed to configure uh, VRRP uh, I think it's missing yeah, but uh, don't worry you will see the uh, configuration commands of VRRP here uh, as you can see uh, on the screen you will create two VRRP group uh, for the first uh, VRRP group uh, will uh, configure router 0 and router 1 again uh, like HSRP and here uh, our uh, commands will be not standby. It will be uh, begin. Uh, it will be beginning with uh, VRRP. Uh, for router zero, we'll uh, say VRRP one IP ten dot zero dot zero six, and this is our uh, virtual IP address. And then we will uh, say VRRP one priority one thousand one hundred and fifty, and this is our priority value. value. Uh, default value is uh, also uh, 100 here and uh, one more thing uh, will uh, also uh, configure VRRP authentication and this is our authentication key and uh, we can also configure this uh, in HSRP this is our router 0 uh, configuration for VRRP group 1 and for uh, group uh, 1 again uh, we will uh, configure router 1 and uh, this is the, our virtual IP address and uh, again the authentication uh, and we did not uh, set any priority value here and so the router one uh, will get the default value of uh, 100 according to this uh, configuration uh, our router 0 will be master router and router 1 uh, will be backup one so uh, the traffic from uh, PC 0 to PC uh, will come through here and uh, past router 0 and then uh, PC2 and if uh, there is a link failure here then the uh, backup one uh, get, uh, get active and then the traffic go through here and uh, by default uh, in VRRP the preemption is uh, enabled and so if uh, this link come again and then uh, the traffic go through here again and for VRRP group 2 uh, our VRRP uh, number is uh, changing in VRRP 2 and uh, our IP is also uh, changing the second virtual IP uh, and uh, for router 0 we set uh, priority 120 and the authentication key is different than uh, group 1 and uh, for router one, uh, also the authentication key is same. 
and uh, the VRRP virtual IP address is same and the priority is 150 so uh, for here uh, the uh, master router will be uh, router 1 for uh, the traffic from uh, PC2 to PC0 so uh, the traffic will come uh, through here and go through uh, here and uh, if there is a link failure here then uh, the traffic will go through the uh, old backup but new uh, uh, master router here in this VRRP configuration example uh, we couldn't uh, configure anything on packet tracer because of uh, some limitations but we have seen uh, the configuration uh, commands of VRRP like HSRP uh, in VRRP configuration we have uh, configured VRRP virtual IP address the priority uh, values and uh, one more thing authentication uh, VRRP authentication uh, and we have uh, configured two group uh, for this configuration